Hi guys, welcome to Oracle SQL and PLS SQL group. In my previous video, we have seen what are the PLS SQL blocks and what are the different types of PLS SQL blocks. So today, we are going to see what is the difference between anonymous block and subprograms. So in my previous video, that is in part two, I have discussed about what is subprograms and what is anonymous block so here we are going to see the differences between them so this is my part 3 video of PLSQL so why to get wait let us get started so here are these are the several differences between anonymous block and subprogram so anonymous block is a unnamed PLSQL block whereas subprogram is a named PLSQL block so the next difference is once we compile the PLSQL subprogram no need to compile it from second time onwards that means whenever you are compiling it first time then only it will be stored in a compile form so from the second time onwards it won't take time to compile it directly we can execute it Whereas in a normal anonymous block, each time you have to compile it. So this is another difference between anonymous block and subprogram. So the third difference between anonymous block and subprogram is that anonymous block will not be stored in database, whereas subprograms will be permanently stored in database. So the next difference is the anonymous block cannot be invoked by other applications, whereas the normal subprograms can be invoked by other applications and the last before one difference is that anonymous block do not return values whereas subprograms called functions or procedures must or may return values so here we have two types of subprograms in PLSQL one is function and another one is procedure so when you discuss about functions so function must return a value whereas procedure may or may not return a value that means obviously we are going to return some values from both these subprograms but in case of anonymous block it is not like that do not it will do not it will not return any values so the last difference between this subprogram and anonymous block is that anonymous block cannot take parameters that means we cannot pass parameters to anonymous block whereas in subprograms we can pass the parameters to procedures or functions so friends these are the several differences between anonymous block and subprograms thank you for watching this video in my next video we will be discussing the advantages of subprograms thank you